Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today I have a question from Ellie, so I'll read you what she says. It's a little long, so bear with me. Dear Cyber Sue, what should I do when someone I'm dating only wants to see me every three weeks? We are not in a long distance relationship and live fairly close to each other, so that isn't the reason. He is great when we get together and treats me well, but once he leaves, I question things each time. I'm starting to feel uncomfortable and it's beginning to feel like a booty call situation and I don't feel like I'm much of a priority to him. I'm not sure how to approach this as it has now been going on like this for three months. How do I even start the conversation? Thank you, Ellie. Well, Ellie, first of all, thanks for writing and I don't think you're alone in asking this question because today a lot of people aren't really sure what the dating protocol is like you've been together for three months so it's not a really long time and people will kind of play this sort of role for a bit until they feel really comfortable with each other and they don't have the exclusive talk sometimes for a while and that can be a bit of the problem here so you don't really know where you stand but I do like the fact that you understand you are not a priority because when you are first meeting somebody and you like them, you want to see them. Now, you're not in a long distance relationship, as you said, so living fairly close together, you could go for a coffee here and there. You don't have to have this three week gap. So why is he doing this? What's going on? Is he dating other people? Is he just feeling like he doesn't really want a heavy duty commitment? These are things that you should always talk about after, say, like the fifth date. If you're really getting along well with each other, you have a right to know where you're going, what's happening. Do they want a commitment or are they just dating and dating other people as well? Today, a lot of people out there, men and women, are dating more than one person. And this is quite common. But it, usually when you really, really like somebody, that stops fairly quickly. It ends up being a discussion because you don't really want them to see other people and vice versa. So the, the trick here is you don't want to be aggressive. You don't want to be in their face on the first couple of dates. Absolutely. You really need to hear what they say, though. He may have said something in the beginning that maybe you just chose to push to the side. Maybe you really didn't hear it. Maybe he didn't relay it to you. And this isn't okay because if he's just coming in there to have a booty call situation every three weeks, that's not what you're looking for. So I would sit down with him the next time you see him. First of all, don't allow yourself to get in a booty call situation. Do not have him come into your home or you go to his home where you are alone together. Tell him you want to go on a date, go on out somewhere. If he wants to end the date early and just come back and have sex with you, well, then you have the talk when you're out and say, no, I'm not interested in this type of a relationship. Is this all you want? Ask the questions. Don't sit back and try and figure it out. Well, maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. Ask him. Three months is long enough now for you to figure out what his, what's his interests here. Is it just a sexual thing with you? Is he sleeping with other people? Are you afraid to ask these questions because you don't want to know the answers? These are all things you have to be really honest with yourself about because if you're not asking things because you're afraid of the answers, you may already have the, the answer you're looking for by this question with me. You may already know that this is the kind of person he is at this time in his life. It doesn't mean he's a bad person but if you haven't set any rules down as to what's important to you, then maybe he thinks it's okay. You have to have boundaries and it's okay to have early boundaries. Don't think that you're being, you know, not a fun person because you've got a few rules. You should always have boundaries right from the start with any new situation. Another thing, you're half of this dating equation. So your time is just as important as his time. So the fact that he's setting all the rules on when you get together is not an equal reciprocated situation here. 
So you want to make that happen first and foremost. If he's interested in you, he will find a way to see you more often. As I said, it might just be because he's allowed to. He's getting away with it, so he's dating other people. And that's okay as long as you're both on the same page and you're both on board with what you want. If you're already feeling like you're in a, in a serious commitment with him and he's not, you're not on the same page and so you're always going to have these questions. Don't let things go too long before you ask what you really want to know. You have a right to find out what his intentions are. If you're really interested in him, find out now where he wants to go with this because putting more time and more energy in just makes you feel more and more attached to him. And then you'll start letting more and more things go. Every three weeks, he's got something going on here. If he's not overly busy with his work and he's not traveling all the time, then why is it every three weeks? I'm thinking that he's probably got a couple of situations and he's just having a little bit of fun right now. If you want to keep seeing him, see him, but just don't sleep with him. And then you won't feel like a booty call. That's one option. I think what really is scary for a lot of people is they just don't want to hear the answer that they already know. And something like this with this guy is it's not better to have that every three weeks than not have anything and then sit there hoping he'll change. If you haven't asked the questions and you don't really know what his intentions are, then he definitely thinks you're okay with it. And he's just doing what he likes to do. He's not being dishonest. He's seeing you every three weeks and you're okay with it. Please have the boundaries, sit down, talk to him about it. If he, if he answers you and says to you, I'm just really not into having a serious relationship right now, you'll have your answer. And as hurtful as that might be for you, you can move on and find somebody who's on the same page with you. What are you getting out of this anyway? Every three weeks, you might be having great sex, but you're not really getting closer to, to knowing him or to having a, an actual relationship and a partnership. And that's what you're looking for. Otherwise, you wouldn't have written this to me. So don't take second seat to anybody. Find out what it is that he's looking for. You tell him what you're looking for. If you can't get on board together with the same things, you have to walk away from him because it's bothering you enough to send me this message. So you have to do the work to figure out what the actual real answer is. The trouble with putting yourself in a scenario like this is you feel disrespected and, and you have a right to feel disrespected. But until you actually know the reason why this is happening, then it's a little more difficult to get pissed off or mad because as I said, you are allowing it. So please, Ellie, have the talk with him and just say, okay, I'm just feeling like maybe because we only see each other every three weeks, you're not really into this. And I'm looking for a relationship. If he says, yeah, sorry, that I'm just happy the way things are, then you'll have your answer and you can make your decision moving forward. But don't ever disrespect yourself and sit around waiting for somebody to come and see you. You're worth more than that. It's your time and his time. So value yourself and please, please have a chat with him before it goes on longer and your heart gets completely broken. Thank you so much for writing, Ellie. And please, everybody out there, have boundaries when you meet somebody. It's okay to have your own little rules. They're not huge. They're just saying, if you're into a relationship with me, please let me know. If you're not, okay, that's all I need to know. And then I can move on and live my life how I choose to not sit here waiting for you to come to me every three weeks. Thank you so much, everyone. Please leave any comments you have below the video. If this has happened to you, I'd love to hear what you did. It's always great when you leave comments to help other people. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone.